girls. City girls. City girls. City girls. City girls. City girls haven't missed the beat. City girls is way bigger now. I'm just proud of where we at now from where we started. You never rapped before. Y'all are officially QC. <laughs> Y'all got signed to QC off your first record. Historic labels and hip hop's the first label to make Atlanta look like Atlanta. We're going for world domination right now. Some shit people just ain't hurt. We're the biggest in the game. Doesn't quality control have two number ones? Did you ever think you would be in this position now? How has it been adjusting, you know, to the industry from the streets? It makes or breaks people. So the City Girls have started an active challenge. City Girls! You saw Rihanna dance today. How was that? How did the twerking party become a So the City Girls Park 25K challenge is real. All right, ladies. Young Miami. She's really been holding it down. Now, for all of those who don't know, the City Girls is two of y'all. Young Miami and JT. Remember, JT still in jail. I'm sure this has been so hard for you without her. Like, you gotta perform by yourself. This motherfucking free JT until she's free. As soon as she went away, I did the first tour through all these cities and these states, making sure JT name stay alive. For all the haters that thought that JT been away was gonna slow us down, y'all was wrong. And when JT get home, it's just gonna be bigger than ever. And they gonna really see that we the superstars that we is, period. What makes someone a city girl? I just feel like right now, it's the women time. Female empowerment! They empowering the women. I'll take your man, I'll be like, oh, honey, I will take your man. I'll take your ass, bring out the real dude. They just giving the girls that life. How does that make you feel that you're part of this empowerment? It's feminism done right. It's, it's the music. It's undeniable right now. I ain't never seen nothing like this. They got that sound, and I'm telling you, like, niggas gonna ride to it. Boys, men gonna ride to it. Like, they got that little kiss to it. It's just being authentic, being yourself, being an individual. Period. I know that, you know, JT in jail, and I supposed to be out here holding down the group, and, you know, you and Coach been going so hard, making sure we get everything done, and I don't know, like, I'm pregnant. I just, I don't know, like, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna call you back and we'll, we'll get this figured out, man. Okay. Shit going good right now. Like, our songs on the billboards, we and our songs just with platinum. That's one of the reasons I hit my pregnancy because I didn't want people to feel like it's a limit to what I can do. No, I was just scared because it was like, I don't know, like, you know, how people go react, how my fans go feel. But everybody was so supportive as far as, like, the fans and people on Instagram. They really be rocking me. They think they finna be my daughter aunties. I think that's so cute, though. It is. This girl saw me and mom was like, I can't wait to see my niece. <laughs> <laughs> they were so supportive. I was crying. When I read my comments, I was really crying. I was like, oh my God, I thought they was gonna be mad at me. I still don't know how he feel. I just had one conversation with him where I told him I'm pregnant. You gotta go and have a conversation with, him, with Miami. She had it up there now? Yeah. So, I, you know, where your head at with that? I mean, shit, man. I feel like she should have came to us early, man. You know what I'm saying? All this planning and shit we've been doing for them. Man, they say she, they say she almost six months. But I talk to this girl every day. No, I know y'all do. No. 
I talk to her every day. We we planning. We 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 scheming. We just setting up this, setting up that. We talk to plan every day. You telling me out of five months? Out of five months? Shit. We gotta see where our heads at. You know, fuck all the music and shit. Like, where's your head at? Very, very happy anytime that you're having a child. It's a joyful moment. And you know, I understand it's difficult for you to let me know. But I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. You know, you five months pregnant already. I talk to you every day. We've been playing every day. Why you wait five months to tell us? You should always be direct and up front with us. Shit, we in the business together, so. I mean, when we signed you, we were straight up forward. Things like this, like, no, we should know about this early. Why are you crying? I just don't want to be like, we on the rise tonight, it's just like, I'm gonna sit back now. I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be a lot of pressure on you. It's gonna be a lot of pressure. So you gotta be strong. I need you to like, really be strong. You know what I'm saying? I feel the same emotion I felt when JT went to judge his. Ain't knowing what's gonna happen next. We got your back all the way to the end, you know that. You just need to have in the back of your mind that we gonna get through it. We got through, we getting through this JT stuff. Look, we here for you and um, just don't stress yourself, man. Don't, don't, don't stress yourself. If you need somebody to talk to, call me. If you need somebody to talk to, call coach. We here for you. I don't never want you to feel like you can't call us. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go and get up out of here because um, you gotta be on the stage in like four to five minutes. So we'll, we'll talk later, you know, do not, do not. Do not stretch yourself. We we gonna get through this. Thank you. QC as a label, it just feel like a family. Like everybody is just so supportive of each other. Like the baby is real supportive. Yadi, Migos, it's a family. She started telling me like different little stuff for like what's going on. Like she wanna quit. Like she wanna give up. But I'm telling her like you got it. You got it. You got it. At the end of the day, I feel like this is what God had for me. It was meant to happen, and it's happening, and it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to beat myself up and be like, what I should do or what I should, would have, could have. It's just like, I'm going day by day. I know we're going to make a plan, and it's going to work. I know it's going to be a blessing overall. What motivates me is like my family. Like, you know, my mom in and out of prison. My mom in prison right now, and she left me to take care of my little brother. I got my baby and my sister. God put me here to do this. I don't want to get out and have to do wrong again or, you know, keep going back in jail to try to provide for her family. I'm in position and I'm going to make sure that I get us everything we ever prayed for. They come out and just continue to make hit records. Nothing else matters. We believe in them and it's a pretty good gamble.